anyone who has never made a mistake has never tried anything new. So let's learn and enjoy mathematics. Our lesson is about measures of position, decile of ungrouped data. What is measures of position? This is a technique that divides a set of data into equal groups. Last time, we discussed quartiles of ungrouped data. Right now, we will discuss deciles of ungrouped data. What is deciles of ungrouped data? Deciles are the score points which divide the distribution into 10 equal parts. So that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So this is 100%. So the starting percent, that is 0%. So 100 divided by 10, so this one is 10%. That is decil sub 1. And plus 10, that is 20%. That is decile sub 2. So 30%, that is decile sub 3. 40%, that is decile sub 4. 50%, that is decile sub 5. And then 60%, that is decile sub 6. 70%, that is decile sub 7. And then 80%, that is decile sub 8. 90%, that is decile sub 9, and this one, that is equal to 100%. What is the formula to be used for the deciles for ungrouped data? The formula it is D sub k class, it is equal to k times the quantity n plus 1 all over 10, where k, that is the n decile, and then the n, that is the total of frequency. In example number 1, find the value of d sub 3 in the given 1, 3, 5, 7, 10, and then 12. It must be arranged in ascending order or descending order. But this time, the given is arranged in ascending order. So let us solve now. d sub k class, it is equal to k times the quantity n plus 1 all over 10. The value of k, that is equal to 3. So d sub 3 class, it is equal to the value of k, that is equal to 3. The value of n, if we count, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so that is equal to 6. So this sub 3 class, it is equal to 3 times 6 plus 1 is 7. So 3 times 7 is 21 all over the denominator 10. 21 divided by 10, that is 2.1. So right now, the value of the observation is between 2nd, and then third. So the second, that is equal to 3, and then the third, that is equal to 5. So let us continue. d sub 3, it is equal to the whole number second plus 0 0.1, and then third minus second. The value of the second, that is equal to 3, copy 0 0.1. The value of the third, that is equal to 5, minus the value of the second, that is equal to 3. Subtract 5 minus 3, that is equal to 2. So copy 3, copy 0 0.1, 5 minus 3, that is equal to 2. 0 0.1 times 2, so copy 3, 0 0.1 times 2, that is equal to 0 0.2. 3 plus 0 0.2, that is equal to 3.2. So d sub 3, it is equal to 3.2. In example number 2, we have the same given, that is 1, 3, 5, 7, 10, and 12. But right now, we need to identify the value of d sub 8. So the formula, that is d sub k class, it is equal to k times the quantity n plus 1 all over 10. The value of k, that is equal to 8. So it means d sub 8 class, it is equal to the value of k, that is equal to 8. And then the value of n, if we count, that is equal to 6 plus 1. 
6 plus 1, that is equal to 7. 8 times 7, that is equal to 56, all over 10. 56 divided by 10, that is equal to 5.6. So it means the value of the observation is between 5 and then 6. So it means the 5th, that is equal to 10, and then the 6th, that is equal to 12. So let us continue. D sub 8 equals the whole number, 5th plus the decimal point, 0 0.6, multiply it with the 6th minus 5th. So it means the PIF that is equal to 10, copy 0 0.6, the 6 that is equal to 12, minus the fifth that is equal to 10. 12 minus 10, that is equal to 2. So copy 10, copy 0 0.6, and then 12 minus 10, that is equal to 2. So D sub 8, that is equal to 10, 0 0.6 times 2, that is equal to plus 1.2. 10 plus 1.2, d sub 8, that is equal to 11.2. Another, in example number 3, the given 1, 3, 5, 7, 10, and 12. But right now, we need to identify the value of d sub 5. The formula, that is d sub k class, it is equal to k times the quantity n plus 1 all over 10. The value of k that is equal to 5. So d sub 5 class, it is equal to 5. And then the value of n, that is equal to 6 plus 1 all over 10. 6 plus 1, that is equal to 7. 5 times 7, that is equal to 35 over 10. 35 divided by 10, that is 3.5. So the d sub 5 class, it is equal to 3.5. It means the value of the observation is between 3 and then 4. The third, that is equal to 5. And then the fourth, that is equal to 7. So let us continue. D sub 5, that is equal to the whole number, so third, plus the decimal point, 0 0.5, multiply it with the fourth minus the third. The third, that is equal to 5, copy plus 0 0.5, the value of the fourth, that is equal to 7, minus the value of the third, that is equal to 5. 7 minus 5, that is equal to 2. So it means d sub 5 equals 5, copy, copy 0 0.5, 7 minus 5 equals 2. So add other, d sub 5, it is equal to 5, plus 0 0.5 times 2, that is equal to 1. 5 plus 1 equals 6. So d sub 5 equals 6. In example number 4, the scores of 10 students of grade 10 generosity in a 30-item test are 6, 9, 12, 19, 29, 25, 23, 21, 20, and 13. Find the value of the D sub 4. We need to arrange the scores in ascending order from smallest to largest. The smallest, that is equal to 6. Next is 9. And then 12. 13. 19. 20. 21, 23, 25, and then 29. Afterwards, right now, we can solve now the DK class. D sub K class, it is equal to K times the quantity N plus 1 all over 4. The value of K, that is equal to 4. So it means D sub 4 class, it is equal to the value of K, that is equal to 4. Multiply it with the value of n, that is equal to 10. If we count, this is 10. So 10 plus 1. So the D sub 4 class, it is equal to 4 times 11. That is equal to 44 over 10. 44 divided by 10. D sub 4 class, it is equal to 4.4. It means the value of the observation between 4. So this is 4 and then 5. So the fourth, that is equal to 13. And then the fifth equals 19. So let us continue. D sub 4 class, it is equal to the whole number 4 plus the decimal point 0 0.4, multiply it with the fifth minus 4. The value of the fourth equals 13 plus copy 0 0.4, the value of fifth that is equal to 19 
minus the value of the fourth that is equal to 13. So next, this sub 4, bring down 13, bring down 0 0.4, 19 minus 13 equals 6. Again, let us continue. D sub 4 equals 13, 0 0.4 times 6, that is equal to 2.4. So 13 plus 2, that is 15. So 13 plus 2.4 equals 15.4. So D sub 4 equals 15.4. How about number 5? The ages of 13 math teachers of Laurel High School are 36, 24, 28, 22, 33, 35, 44, 30, 31, 27, 30, 34, and 37. Let us find the value of the D sub 7. First, we need to arrange the ages of 13 math teachers in ascending order from smallest to largest. So the smallest age that is 22. After 22, that is 24. After 24, 27, and then 28, 30, 30 again, 31, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, and then 44. So the following are arranged in ascending order. Right now, we need to solve the D sub K class. Use of K class, it is equal to K times the quantity N plus 1 all over 10. The value of K, that is equal to 7. So, D sub 7 class, it is equal to the value of K, that is equal to 7. The value of N, if we count this ages, that is equal to 13. So, 13 plus 1 all over 10. 13 plus 1, that is equal to 14. 7 times 14, that is 98 over 10. 98 divided by 10, that is 9.8. It means the value of the observation is between 9 and then 10. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 9 and then 10. So the 9, that is 34. And then the 10th, that is 35. So let us continue. These have 7, the whole number, that is 9th, plus the decimal 0 0.8. Multiply it with the 10th minus the 9th. The 10th. D sub 7, that is equal to 34, bring down 0 0.8, and then the 10, that is equal to 35, minus 34. So 35 minus 34, that is equal to 1. So copy 34, copy 0 0.8, and then 35 minus 34 equals 1. So bring down 34, 0 0.8 times 1, that is 0 0.8. So 34 plus 0 0.8, so the D sub 7 equals 34.8. Instruction, solve the unknown value using decile formula. Provide your answers in the comment section. Enjoy learning mathematics. I'm Teresa Tubal. Thank you so much.